Josie Lanzi. Welcome to Off the Hook on the Play. It's grouper season, and you know what? We're going to head out there and hopefully bring home that fresh catch of the day and create yet another Off the Hook recipe. So let's get fishing so we can get cooking. All right, let's kick it. Well, we made it to our favorite spot. Now it's time to catch the fresh catch of the day. Let's see what kind of bait we got. We got uh, frozen Manhattan, frozen grunt, squid, sardines, and oh yeah, plenty of pinfish. So we're ready to fish. Let's get fishing. Just to see what's down there, we'd like to start with squid and get them eating. So we're both going to send down some squid and see what's down there. First red grouper of the day. Grant thinks he's got a grouper keep over there. Whew. Good fishing day. We put this one back. It's too little. This guy of the day, we better measure that one. Looks look, pretty look big. Oh, look at him. Look at Beautiful. The yeah, it sure is. Wow. Another red one. Too short. It's got to go back, though. Whew. Uh, how, how long is it? 22. 22. That's a keeper, baby. First gag of the day. We're going home with the fresh catch of the day. Yeah. We're doing great. We're doing great. We kind of like on the ledge of some kind. So I'm going to come over here right here. I'm in the front and I'm going to let some line out to get a little bit closer maybe of that ledge or whatever it is because we're catching gag groupers today. Grouper number two and this one is a big one. You know you don't have to measure this one. Yum, yum. Yes. Well, it was a great fishing day again. It's calm still. We're going to head back in. It's about 2.30 or so, but we got plenty of fish to clean. So I'll see you guys back at the house and we're going to create yet another off the hook recipe. First we cut with a regular fillet knife and then we continue with the electric knife all the way down just like any other basic fillet. Same thing on the other side to remove the skin. How it's done. Okay, after you're done filleting the grouper and removing the skin, you get a beautiful thick fillet right here. And then look where we always need to look in every fish after you're done filleting, and is those either a darker line, which is right here. You see this? And you want to go on each side of it and go down it and feel. You're going to feel some bones there. And so you want to go down until you stop feet feeling the bones about halfway down. That entirely has to be removed to complete filleting the fish. Also guys, remember when you're filleting your fish, all these trimmings, even the pieces that have the bones in it, you want to keep those to make that wonderful fish stock. Okay, today with our fresh catch of the day, which was grouper we're going to use, we're going to start uh, by doing a marinade. We're actually making fish shish kebabs today. So the marinade consists of right here in this little bowl I already have juice of one lemon, juice of one lime, and also juice of one orange. To this we're going to add a quarter cup of extra virgin olive oil, two tablespoons of finely chopped basil, a pinch of sea salt, and a pinch of cracked black pepper. Mix well together. Okay, I have here 12 chunks of grouper, 12 chunks of red bell pepper, and 12 chunks of pineapple. I've soaked four of these skewers in water all day to make sure they're really wet so they don't burn on the grill. want to start with a piece of red pepper. It's going to hold everything at the end. Then you want to do a pineapple. And your grouper. You want to do this three times 
for each kebab. All right, this actually makes four shish kebabs, so they're ready to go pretty much, except now it's time to pour the marinade all over the top. Right, you want to let this marinate 20 minutes. After 10 minutes, you want to toss them around to coat them all the way around. After 20 minutes, we'll then take them to the grill and grill them up. Okay, now you want to place on a pre-grease or sprayed medium-high heat grill. Make sure it's hot enough. We're going to add the shish kebabs. You want to cook them approximately five minutes on the first side and then we'll turn them. Okay, before actually turning the kebabs, we're going to go ahead and just brush a little bit more marinade on the top and then we'll turn them. Close lid and let them cook an additional five minutes. Keep in mind that each and everyone's grill is a little different. It may take up to three to four additional minutes to cook them thoroughly. You just want to make sure that the fish is completely white all the way through. Today's recipe is grouper shish kebab. Serve this over your favorite rice and voila, you have a yet another off the hook Thanks recipe. Thanks for having fun with me again today and I hope you enjoy the citrus grouper kebab that I showed you how to make today. I guarantee you're gonna love it. So try it out, leave me a comment. I love to hear what you think about it. So I'll see you guys back here next week for another off the hook, on the plate recipe. So long.